Hello again. This is the, <laughs> what are we doing, Bella? Oh yeah, rolling like a ball. I'm not gonna break it up into segments um, like I did with the roll up because this one, the more you get into the groove of it and find your balance, then it's, it's easier to progress with it rather than stopping and, and starting it. And you'll, you'll see what I mean when we start going to it. I've got my treat in your hand in case you're wondering what, what the Westie is all interested in. It's not Pilates. So for rolling like a ball, the first thing is to just um, play around with balance. And as you can see here, finding your sits bones is important, but I think more important is rolling away from your sits bones, coming up onto your toes a little bit. And you're gonna find the place to balance just back of the sits bones. And at that point, you're just gonna feel the natural inclination to bring your toes off the mat. It's a beautiful curved spine. Think about short box where we roll back over the sits bones. So it's kind of the same placement of the spine, same lift, same feeling of suspension. I've got my hands on my shins, but you can most certainly have your hands back of the legs or on the side of your legs. You can play around with bringing the rib cage forward a little bit and back, relaxing the shoulders a bit here. So that would be my first thought in preparing for rolling like a ball. I guess the pre-prep for this would be just begin to roll back over your sits bones. Same preparation we did for the roll up. Just getting comfortable and really just kind of trusting the body to do what it does, find its balance. Let the central nervous system have some fun with this. It's a beautiful curved spine. What it's not is a hollowed out chest. You see the difference? There it is, open through the chest. Again, very much like when we do um, seated footwork or um, short box work. So rolling like a ball here, I may have to put my treat. I don't want to put it down, she'll get it, but I'm just going to put it right there because I do need my, my hands here for a little more support. So rolling like a ball is to take that curve of your spine and just begin to roll. Whoop. Now, I'm on bricks here. Okay, that's not an excuse. I know that, but it makes a difference. So you notice how my toes went down and up? That's what I mean by just continuing this. You're gonna get a little more um, comfortable with the movement as you go. Let's try it again. I'm doing a little wobble. The bricks are a little uneven underneath me. Well, it must have been me because it went pretty good that time. So that's rolling like a ball. What you can also do here to advance it is when you complete the roll back, roll up, you can begin to extend your spine. Think about that teaser upper body. Don't throw your ribs out of alignment. It's more of that lifting of the heart. And then as you go into that curve again, you come back into that balance place. Now, advancing this, separate the legs a little bit. See how that goes. That may have been easier or not. Advance it to lifting the chest. Rounding the spine again. Lifting the chest. Now, advancing this, extending one leg. Extending the other leg. 
fingers crossed. Extending the chest. Rounding the spine. Now don't collapse the low back. Pull your belly button in. There you go. And lengthening through the chest. So to recap, rolling like a ball, just begin with a feet on the mat, rolling movement. When you get comfortable with that, play around with some balance, kind of hang out. When that feels comfortable, begin to move the, the spine. When that feels good, separate the legs, and this one might be easier than legs together. And then playing around with this, lifting through the chest first, but then you're always going to create that curve when you roll. There it is. Beautiful. All right, now she's got her treat. Good girl. Good workout. She is very patient with me. Have a good one, guys. Practice.